Hello! Welcome to another exciting episode of The Creative's Cauldron. I'm Holly Marie Philippi, joined here with my co-host. And I am Stephen Zimmer, with my co-host, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're going to talk about the creative renaissance, the cre man and woman. Yes, that's at least what we term it. I mean, we've pretty much lived a week like that. I mean, we've been doing all kinds of stuff in all kinds of spheres of activity, and, sure. and Holly and I were just talking about it because it's something that we see in our convention, we see it in the modern day artists, and, all the time. and it's basically like a, a renaissance person, and, mm -hmm. it's, and, and what we want to talk about today is that it's okay to be a Renaissance person in in the modern modern world, mm -hmm. um, and what we mean by that is you see a lot of authors who are also filmmakers, you see authors who are game designers, mm -hmm. you see comic book artists who are you know into you know all kinds of like music maybe or have a band. Uh, you you have right. I mean, you see it in the Hollywood level. I mean Hollywood mm -hmm. actors that have bands, and then you see bands that you know have art you know, members of bands that have art gallery showings like Paul Stanley and Kiss and. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's just a lot of people are, are doing multiple things at the same time in, in exploring their art. And it's okay to do that. And, and in today's uh, market, you're free to do all that. You know, you don't have to just say, oh, you know, because I wrote a book, I'm just an author. You know, I can't, I can't put my art out there because I'm just an author. No, you can put your art out there. You, you can yeah. do pottery. You can do, you know, whatever. That you feel like doing. Uh, we was talking about you know, like like myself. I I dabble in all kinds of stuff. I I made my grandson a bed with palettes. I uh, you know make my holistic skincare products. I write. I have song wrote. I you know used to write poetry. Mm. Played bass guitar too. Yes, played bass guitar, <laughs> which I need to get you know yeah, get back, back into it. it. Yeah. Yes, and then Stephen over here, he wears a lot of different uh, hats. You know, you want to tell them everything you do well, for well, the people that don't well, know. As an example, I mean, it's creatively, it's a lot of fun to be able to work in different spheres of mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just use two examples. I mean, as a writer, I, I love the, the writing world because it's very much an immersive kind of solitary path. I mean, you mm -hmm. do have other people involved, right. uh, editors, right. publishers, uh, readers, everything else, you know, mm -hmm. at some point. So it's, it's by no means a completely solitary path. Uh, but as opposed to like filmmaking, mm -hmm. which is a collaborative medium, it's yeah. it's a it's something where a lot of different folks come to the table to create the finished piece, right. and so uh, so it gives me a chance to operate in two different spheres that are very different in the dynamics that, that they have, mm -hmm. and that's a, for me it's very fulfilling, and I like the fact that the modern day, unlike even like 25 year, 20, 25 years ago, I mean you could most people had you know pretty much focused on a specialty. Right. And uh, but today, I mean, you'll notice it. I mean, when you look at like an Instagram profile, you'll see dot 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 dot. You know, se you know, there's several different things that they are. I mean, and mm -hmm. that's why we use the term creatives on the show, independent right. creatives, right. because you aren't, you don't have to label yourself as one thing to pursue a path. I right. Mean, don't corner yeah. yourself. No. Don't no. don't corner yourself and label. Please do not label yourself. You are a creative, whether mm -hmm. you're an artist, an author, or. You, almost all, I'd say 100%, matter of fact, of mm -hmm. creatives, yes, are capable of either drawing and writing or, you know, making something with their hands and singing or, you know, of course, they're talented. Creatives are talented oh, yes. people yeah. and they think all the time, very smart people. Yeah, and, so, you, and you express yourself in different ways. And, yes, uh, yes. And it's okay to do that. Right. And, uh and it's neat because, I mean, when you're operating in a different artistic sphere, you'll expose yourself to a different audience. Mm -hmm. And that audience will then in turn discover what you do yeah. over here. Right. And so it's a, it's a really... You just broaden yeah. your horizon is what yeah. you've done. You've broadened your fan base. You've broadened your horizon. And, uh, you know, as far as making a living in this day and age, which, well, we know, God, it's so hard as an independent yeah, creative. When you have multiple things that you are... Uh, proficient at mm -hmm. it does help you in, in that area as well yeah. because you're you not can, throwing all your eggs in one basket you can offer yeah. multiple things and do multiple things right and uh, the market you know responds accordingly mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's a good mm -hmm. thing 
And uh, but independent creatives, I mean, there, there's never been a time where you can do more. And you know, at the same time, there's a lot That's of true. because there is so much openness to the markets and all. Though you do have a big flood of activity. The world out there. of internet. So yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's a blessing and a curse sometimes. I think it's yeah. it's definitely tough. And uh, but it's uh, it's definitely a, a fun dynamic to watch out there. Mm-hmm. And I, I definitely encourage those of you that have other talents and don't be afraid to try other things no, and, and bring out those other talents. And the thing that I want to emphasize in the show, and, uh, yeah, and I'm, you can probably hear me talk about it in several episodes going forward, is your work has value. And it doesn't matter what sphere you're working in, but your work right. has value and you need to always keep that in mind. And no matter what sphere you're, at, you're active in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's just like when you go to a convention. Don't feel that because you're there as a artist that you can't also bring books that you've wrote or, right. you know, songs that you've wrote. Or or it, oh, it was so fun, like you know? an Imaginarium. I mean, with several people. Um, it was fun to watch <laughs> authors coming in that were hosting games yeah. on games that they designed. Right. And so, the, so there's they were an author game and there were game designers. Yeah. Yeah. And then you had some filmmakers that were also authors. And then you had, I mean, it, it is so neat to see the many different ways that, you know, it all comes together mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. uh, to create what I call, you know, the independent renaissance person. And that's what right. we really have today. Right. And we, uh, we alluded to one last week, Nathan Day. I mean, he fits it perfectly. Oh, uh, yes. Actor, he's an actor. A musician, and, an yes. author. And yes. art. I mean, he's, yeah, does about everything. Yeah, and, he does. Uh, he does. It's just fantastic. And, uh, and uh, which brings me to, I mean, actually tonight, you know, we want to give a uh, example of that and so we decided to give our featured independent creative for tonight uh, is definitely one of these independent renaissance persons and uh, yes, yes. and the and it is the wonderful Glenn, Glenn Porzig. Porzig yay <laughs> Glenn and uh, right now you're you're starting to see Glenn's book covers coming across the screen mm-hmm. And he does the Darkness Unbound series, which is going very well. Uh, he's done very well with his audiobook versions as well. And, and he uh, granted us. Oh, yes, yes. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. With the wait, privilege. Wait, wait, wait. We, we got a privilege. But privilege. yes, but we should also say, before we give you this privilege here, we also uh, have uh, to say that he is an artist. Yes, he is. An a very good talented artist. artist. Yeah, does covers and, and yes. everything. And he, uh, well, and he yeah, does and these he, little and cards. He has a comic book creator. Comic book well, he creator. does comic books and, and then he does, yeah. does these, these cards. like um, uh, Yeah, all kinds. Of, we're showing oh, it. like baseball cards. And we're, sh- we're showing a couple of them right now yeah. on the screen. He uh, draws. Yeah, this. they're great. They're like fa- fan art of uh, some you know, popular um, yeah. movie monsters and characters and things like that. He does a really, really amazing job with that. But he was a, you know, also a comic creator. You know, developed right. his own comic comic right. book. And uh, he's also a podcaster. I mean, yes, yes, yeah. He's definitely he's definitely done a lot of these things. And uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, he's definitely a Renaissance man. <laughs> and he's own right. Yeah, he'll be at conventions and he'll have this this you know really nice table set up with his books. And then he has some of his artwork there. And then he'll sit there and be, you know, drawing these cards. You know, as he's selling books, signing books, you know, he's also drawing his fan art, you know. And you can actually purchase it right there, you know, and see, yeah. watch him do it and actually get So that's, it's really cool how he ties everything in. Yes. And uh, it brings me to, here comes uh, the big <laughs> moment here. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> but um, his brand new book forward is Darkness Unbound series. For the first time, here is the cover for Grave of Ashes. Ta-da! And now it fills your screen. <laughs> that is Glenn's brand new book, and uh, we're real. This is the first time he has is publicly shown his uh, cover image. So we actually got to do the reveal. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. You're awesome. <laughs> you rock. Yes, we uh, we are big fans of Glenn. He sits uh, uh, well, he sits by us at a lot of conventions. Actually, yes, he does. Yeah. When we actually set up a table, and yeah, Glenn's always been, fun to sit and been, chat with, and he's oh, yes. such a wonderful person. He's got a great personality too, but so talented, talented man. Oh yes, yeah, he's definitely one of those multifaceted people that yeah. you definitely call an independent Renaissance person. Yes, and, yeah, but definitely check his series out. Check the new book out. And so, yes, and we hope you've gotten a little bit of insight into the value of being an independent creative yeah. as, as an independent renaissance person today. And, uh, 
if you uh, you know would, I would like to invite you to follow us, of course, on Twitter and also on Facebook. And uh, if you did like today's episode, definitely give it a like. Yes. And uh, and subscribe. Comment below. Yes. Comment below. And tell tell Thanks us what tell us what you do. Tell us the variety of things you do, and tell us maybe uh, some things that you haven't gotten to try out yet that you feel that you're talented at. Yeah, and, tell us that in the comment section. And if you would like us to advertise your name on a T-shirt, get oh, yes. with us. We'll <laughs> yeah. wear it we'll live wear, on the we'll show. We'll wear swag if you send it. In. Yes, we will. <laughs> We're shameless. <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, catch you next week with an episode of Creative Cauldron. Cauldron. Good night.